It was the famed trade route that saw spices, luxury and cloths and ultimately wealth flow between the eastern and western worlds. But a new study of a 2,000-year-old toilet discovered near a desert in northwest China has revealed the Silk Road was also responsible for the exchange of something else too, infectious diseases. While sifting through the contents of a person's bowel movements might be something doctors do to help diagnose their patients, it appears it can also give us a glimpse far back into the past. Archaeologists examined the preserved feces on ancient personal hygiene sticks, which were used to wipe the backsides of people between 111 BC and 109 AD. They found eggs from four species of parasitic worm were present in the ancient droppings left on the hygiene ones. And it appears at least one of these parasites may have spread along the Silk Road from a location at least 1,000 miles away. The study suggests that while global travel has made it easier for infectious diseases to spread around the world, the problem has been around for thousands of years. Dr. Pierce Mitchell, an anthropologist at the University of Cambridge who led the study, said, until now there has been no proof that the Silk Road was responsible for the spread of infectious diseases. They could instead have spread between China and Europe via India to the south, or via Mongolia and Russia to the north. The ancient latrine was found at the ancient ruins of Chuan Quanxi in the Tomren Basin in northwest China close to the vast sandy expanse of the Taklamakan Desert. Chuan Quanxi is thought to have been a relay station on the Silk Road, which came to prominence during the Han Dynasty in China, which ruled between 202 BC to 220 AD. The site was a popular stop with travelers who chained their horses and delivered letters. Merchants, explorers, Soldiers and government officials traveled along the route towards the Middle East and the Mediterranean, taking goods that were in high demand in the West. While excavating in Zhuang Guanxi, Dr. Mitchell and his colleagues, whose research is published in the Journal of Archaeological Science Reports, discovered persona hygiene sticks in the latrine. One end of the sticks were wrapped with cloth, which was then used to clean feces from around the anus. Using a microscope, the researchers analyzed the feces and found eggs for roundworm, whipworm, tapeworm and Chinese river fluke. Chinese liver fluke, which can cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, jaundice and liver cancer, requires waterlogged, marshy areas to complete its life cycle. Sitting on the edge of the Talcamacan Desert, Zhuang Quanxi would have been too dry to allow this parasite to breed and spread. Instead, the closest area it could have come from is at least 953 miles away and the spices is most common in the Guangdong province, which is 1,242 miles away. Dr. Mitchell said, finding evidence for the species in the latrine indicates that a traveler had come here from a region of China with plenty of water, where the parasite was endemic. This proves for the first time that travelers along the Silk Road really were responsible for the spread of infectious disease along this route in the past. The latrine was first excavated in 1992 by Chinese archaeologists. Dr. Mitchell said that after 2,000 years most of the feces had decomposed but they were able to find small samples that had dried onto the cloth of the personal hygiene sticks. He told, Our finding of the long-distance movement of people with Chinese liver fluke along the Silk Road shows that the route did act as a vector for the transfer of infected people. This means we can now be much more confident that travelers on the Silk Road were bringing more than silk and other trade goods with them. They were likely taking many other infectious diseases with them too. He said that the Silk Road likely saw the spread of many different diseases as travelers passed along it. He said, the Silk Road was clearly a slow speed version compared with modern travel options, but for its time as it was the fastest route to undertake intercontinental travel. The parasitic worm Chinese liver fluke, which we found in the study, can only be endemic in eastern and southern China and Korea as it needs water snails and fish to complete its life cycle. That means this infected traveler could not have spread it to Europe, for example. However, other diseases that can be spread directly from one human to another, such as bubonic plague, leprosy, and anthrax, could potentially also be spread along the Silk Road and infect new populations who had not previously been exposed to those diseases. In a way, the Silk Road moved diseases between continents. Scientists have long suspected that global trade routes like the Silk Road may have played a role in the spread of diseases such as the bubonic plague, anthrax and leprosy.
but the new study provides the first hard evidence that the Silk Road was allowing diseases to spread over vast distances even in its earliest days. Dr. Hui Wanye, an archaeologist at the Gansu Institute of Cultural Relics and Archaeology in Lanzhou, China, who was a co-author on the study, said, When I first saw the Chinese liver fluke egg down the microscope I knew that we had made a momentous discovery. Our study is the first to use archaeological evidence from a site on the Silk Road to demonstrate that travelers were taking infectious diseases with them over these huge distances.